When Elon Musk took the stage and unveiled the 2026 Tesla Model 2, it wasn't just the price or the compact design that caught attention. What really made engineers' jaws drop and netizens flock to the forums was a detail almost imperceptible at first glance, a 0.9-meter structural gap in the car's chassis. Yes, a gap, a space where, traditionally, you'd expect to find welds, latches, and more welds. But no, therein lies the heart of an idea that goes against everything the automotive industry has always believed about structural safety. And most surprisingly, Musk assures that this visual gap is the secret to its strength. Many people viewed this gap with suspicion and not without reason. After all, for decades, the industry's mantra has been, the more welds, the safer. The chassis of a typical car is composed of hundreds of stamped parts, joined by up to Wanbrinch 600 spot welds. Sounds robust, right? But what no one tells you is that each of these points is also a potential point of failure, a weak link that, under extreme stress, can break. And, adding it all up, the math becomes frightening. A structural assembly with thousands of tiny scratches hidden beneath the shiny bodywork. This is precisely where the boldness of the Model 2's design comes in. Instead of welding pieces together like a fragile jigsaw puzzle, Tesla decided to join the front and rear of the car with entire cast sections, connected by a component that was previously merely functional, the battery. Now, the car's battery isn't just a power source, it's also part of the skeleton, a rigid structure that closes the power triangle between the front, rear, and center. And this triangle has, in the center, that 0.9 meter gap. It seems empty, but that's where the magic happens. This approach dismantles conventional wisdom and ushers in a new logic, fewer connection points, but with much more precise engineering. Instead of 1,600 weak points, three oversized connection zones emerge, designed to withstand enormous loads and distribute stress evenly. No more millimeter-perfect welds. Instead, aerospace-grade structural adhesives, ultra-high-strength screws, and laser alignment make joining the parts more reliable than any traditional welding. And what's more, this gap isn't just a technical detail. It's the symbol of a philosophy, a break, literal and metaphorical, with past methods. Musk didn't just want to make a cheaper car. He wanted to rewrite the rules of what's possible in automotive construction. And this change begins exactly where most see a dangerous gap. The 0.9-meter gap actually represents the union of a car's most solid parts, integrated so precisely that they behave as a single piece in the face of impacts. This gap also directly affects the vehicle's weight. A traditional chassis, full of welds and overlapping parts, can weigh around 270 kilo. In the Model 2, that number drops to 198 kilo. That's 72 kilowatt less without compromising rigidity. On the contrary, it increases it. This difference impacts everything, from energy consumption to acceleration. And of course, less weight means less material, less complexity, and a leaner, faster, and cheaper assembly line. The decision to transform the battery into a structural part held together by this 0.9-meter gap also contributes to the vehicle's durability. Instead of relying on dozens of welded joints that can wear out over time, the Model 2 relies on three large connections designed to last as long as the entire car. This simplifies maintenance and extends the car's longevity. It's as if, instead of armor made of small plates, the vehicle were wearing a single, lightweight, and durable vest. And if that sounds too radical, just remember what Musk had already promised. The goal wasn't just to change the car, but to change the way cars are made. With the Model 2, this promise begins to materialize with something as simple and as bold as a 0.9-meter gap, a detail that, ironically, may end up being the most solid point of the entire project. While many were still trying to understand the boldness behind the 0.90-meter gap, 
The real revolution was already being molded in steel, or rather, in cast aluminum. The secret behind the Model 2's structure lies not only in the absence of welds, but in a technology called mega casting, instead of assembling the car from hundreds of small, hand-stamped parts, Tesla casts entire sections of the chassis in gigantic molds. It's as if, instead of building with bricks, they'd decided to carve the house from a single block of stone. This process uses presses with 6,000 to 9,000 tons of force to create entire car parts, like the front and rear, in a single piece. These machines are so large they require their own buildings to operate. The impact is brutal. Where once 400 welded parts were required, now two or three robust foundries are sufficient, reducing not only the number of components, but also the hours spent on assembly. Production that used to take hours is now completed in minutes. And this change doesn't just save time. It saves money, a lot of it. It's estimated that with mega casting, Tesla reduces production costs by up to 40%. This translates to up to $7,000 less per car. And it's no exaggeration to say that this figure is the reason the Model 2 can reach the market costing less than $25,000, a feat that seemed impossible in a scenario where electric car prices have always flirted with the premium segment. Another detail that might go unnoticed at first glance is the impact on the factory's internal design. Fewer parts mean fewer robots, fewer automated arms, and less space required to assemble a car. Tesla's factories are more compact, more efficient, and easier to replicate around the world. This not only speeds up production, but also allows the brand to scale its global operations more quickly, meeting the growing demand for affordable electric vehicles. But it's not just about savings. The process change also represents a leap in quality. Fewer connections, fewer variables. Each casting comes out of the mold with millimeter precision, without relying on the meticulousness of individual welds. This means less room for error and more consistency between cars. In other words, the car you buy is structurally identical to the one that comes off the production line before or after a rare occurrence in the traditional automotive world. Mega casting also simplifies logistics. Imagine the work involved in transporting and assembling hundreds of separate metal components, each with its own risks of warping, error, or failure. Now compare that to delivering a single cast part ready to fit perfectly on the assembly line. The supply chain will be grateful, and so will the consumer seeing this logistical gain reflected in the final price. And of course, this approach requires a completely different kind of engineering. Engineers are no longer just designing cars. They're designing gigantic molds that must withstand extremely high temperatures and absurd pressures. Any mistake there can jeopardize an entire production run. But once mastered, the technique becomes a powerful weapon. And it was precisely this mastery that allowed Tesla to innovate where others are still trying to understand the manual. The beauty of this technology lies in how it speaks directly to the concept of the 0.9 meter gap. Without mega casting, this gap would be unthinkable. Only with entire sections, precisely cast and strategically joined, does this connection become not only viable, but stronger than anything constructed with welds. And that's why this technology isn't just the game changer. It's the one that makes it all possible. With the two giant pieces joined by a zero, nine meter gap and reinforced by a structural battery, the inevitable question arises, what about safety? Is this new concept truly stronger than the old thousand point welded model? The answer surprisingly is yes. And it starts with the materials. Tesla developed its own aluminum alloy, 40% stronger than the metals used by most automakers. This means that, even with fewer connections, the structure can withstand much more impact and torque than one might imagine. While other brands still use aluminum with a maximum strength of 120 megapascals, Tesla's alloy reaches between 140 and 175 megapascals. Simply put, 
It's as if, in a tug-of-war competition, the Tesla team used super-athletes while the others still train with lightweights. And the most curious thing? This special alloy also offers excellent electrical conductivity, helping to integrate the vehicle's systems more efficiently. A detail that, although technical, directly influences the car's robustness. But what really makes engineers' eyes light up is the practical data. Tesla isn't just betting on the lab. They've put the Model 2 through tens of thousands of impact simulations, as well as real-world crash tests at 64 and 72 km h, 40 and 45 mm hertz. The result? The new structure absorbs 25% more energy than the Model 3 and reduces cabin intrusion by 15% in serious accidents. For those who viewed the 0.9 meter, 3, three-foot clearance with suspicion, these numbers are like a dead giveaway. Another impressive statistic comes from torsional rigidity, the car's ability to resist twisting when traveling over uneven terrain or inside impacts. The Model 2 delivers 35,000 Newton meters per degree, compared to 26,000 for the Model 3. And if you think this is just engineering, consider this. A car with greater torsional rigidity shakes less, corners more steadily, and offers greater rollover protection. It's safety you feel through the steering wheel and in your body. This structure also provides relief during emergency maneuvers. Less weight and greater rigidity mean the car responds better to sudden braking or swerving. Instead of a vehicle that deforms and becomes lost, the Model 2 maintains its structural integrity even under high pressure. It's the difference between losing control or staying calm when the going gets tough. Another crucial factor is the type of connection used in the gap. Instead of spot welds measuring just two millimeters, Tesla uses structural adhesives and ultra-high strength screws with a clamping force of up to 30,000 pounds. The contact area reaches 2.7 square meters, meaning instead of joining two parts with a tiny point, you join them with an entire surface, distributing the force intelligently. It's a bit like swapping a pin for a steel plate. Interestingly, this philosophy comes from the aerospace industry. The same technology used to join commercial aircraft fuselages at 10,000 meters is now used in the car that can drive on your street. This shows how willing Tesla is to import solutions from other sectors to transform the automotive industry. What was once exclusive to airplanes now protects your family on the road. This new safety standard completely changes the narrative. Instead of relying on hundreds of weak points, the Model 2 relies on three highly reinforced zones, joined by superior materials and aviation-inspired techniques. And it all revolves around that same 0.9-meter gap that, instead of posing a risk, has become the strongest link in a structure that challenges everything previously known about automotive safety. What's most striking about observing the Model 2's testing is how the engineering behind structural rigidity translates into concrete numbers anyone can understand. The vehicle's structure not only resisted crashes better, but also did so with less weight. This is almost a paradox in the industry. Typically, more strength means more material, and more material means more weight. But in the case of the Model 2, the chassis lost about 20% of its mass, dropping from 225 kilo to 180 kilo, yet still became 30% stiffer than its predecessor, the Model 3. This weight reduction has immediate consequences. A lighter car accelerates faster, consumes less energy, and requires less engine effort which translates into greater range. In an electric car, where every extra kilometer counts, these 45 kilo make a real difference. And more than just performance, this also means greater control in extreme situations. Less mass to brake, less inertia in corners, and less risk of rollover in sudden swerves. Safety and efficiency go hand in hand. Furthermore, the way this structure handles impact forces is almost organic. Tesla took inspiration from human anatomy, specifically the spine. In the body, rigid vertebrae are connected by flexible discs, allowing stability and movement. 
The Model 2 follows this same logic. The cast parts of the chassis function as solid bones, and the 0.9 meter span, reinforced with high strength adhesives and screws, acts as a flexible connection, capable of absorbing and redistributing energy without collapsing. This concept is called biomimicry, using natural structures as a basis for solving human problems. The idea isn't just poetic, it works. When a collision occurs, forces are distributed throughout the car's entire skeleton, avoiding the stress points that cause localized failures in traditional welds. It's as if the car breathes, flexes, and resists intelligently, instead of simply locking up and breaking down. But this isn't just fancy laboratory theory. The technology has already been put to the test in Tesla's most extreme vehicle yet, the Cybertruck. Engineers applied the same structural logic of megacasting and reinforced connections in brutal off-road impact tests at 50 km h. The result? No joint failures. If this structure can handle uneven terrain, jumps, and violent impacts, imagine what it can do in a simple urban accident. The advantage extends to comfort as well. A more rigid car vibrates less, reduces interior noise, and provides a more stable driving experience. In everyday life, this means less stress on long trips and less wear and tear on interior components. Cutting-edge engineering in this case isn't just serving performance, it's also serving the well-being of those behind the wheel or in the back seat. This innovative structure also offers something many didn't expect, ease of maintenance. Although the gigantic parts may seem complex, they were designed to be replaced in a modular fashion. This means that, in the event of damage, repairs are simpler and cheaper, a savings that, over the years, can represent hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars saved in repair shops. And it's this balance between rigidity, lightness, safety, and maintainability that makes the Model 2's performance so impressive. Tesla didn't just create a budget car. It created an engineering platform that completely transforms what's expected of a mainstream car. And it all revolves around what seemed like a weakness, a 0.9 meter gap that, in practice, became the vehicle's strongest point. It's when the numbers meet everyday life that this revolution begins to make even more sense. The Model 2's structure, molded with mega casting and reinforced by engineering inspired by natural principles, not only improves safety, but also significantly reduces costs. Traditionally, assembling a car's chassis takes about six hours, including stamping, welding, and inspection. With Tesla's new process, that time drops to just 10 minutes per section,